Awkward fade out. Good evening. Hello, 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 hello. Fallen O, thanks for the follow. How are we, how are we doing, guys? Cyclopsers, thanks for the follow. I am good, guys. I'm good. I've uh, I've had a relatively productive day. I've uh, I cooked a uh, a cut of brisket, beef brisket, slow roasted that for four hours in the oven. That was that was good fun. And then um, then uh, yeah, roasted some vegetables, made some gravy, some nice red wine ra uh, gravy. Started out with a roux. Like butter, onions, some flour, then added some red wine, beef stock. It was, it was good. Ah, uh, thanks for the follow for me flipping. Yeah, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. And then I'm just living my best boomer life. I don't know how, how well you can hear the guitar. It's uh it's over in the corner there. Um it's not that loud. Uh, quick question before you get into it. I've been asked to write some Celtic style for animation. Any pointers for this style? Being from Scotland, I thought you might know a thing or two. Uh, well, like, I know particularly more of the Skel Scottish style music. Like, uh, there are different styles of Scottish music. There's the real... These are, these are all dances. So there's the real, there's the... And there's the jig. The real's, um... The real's, uh, whatchamacallit, straight. So it's in, uh, 4-4. Four, four, and the jig's in, uh, compound time. Um, but I don't know if you've heard, like, uh, I don't know if you can hear, uh, I don't know if you, uh, have heard Glasgow Kiss by John Petrucci. It's like a... I don't, yeah, it's, it'll, be, it'll be quite quiet. Um, but, um, yeah, I think just, just look up the particular aspects that, um, that create that sound. So, for, um, Scottish music generally is quite pentatonic with its melodies. Um... But yeah, I'm trying to think what else. It's, to be honest, it's like it's been a while since I've tried to write anything in that style, so it's hard to hard to give solid advice either way. Um, but uh, yeah, you can you know look up the, the musical styles, look up what a jig is, look up what a reel is. Uh, there's also the Strats Bay. Like look those up and uh, try and get a feel for uh, musical styles. And, uh, oh, someone wondered if something I give lessons. I don't give lessons, unfortunately. I've tried, and I just... I don't feel I can put enough energy into them to make it worth people to to have. So, yeah. Interesting chord progressions. I mean, like, bagpipes don't do chords. It's just a drone. So you just have a drone, and you just play melody. Um, yeah, honestly, just look up, just look up, you know, different dances. Like, look up reels and jigs, and they'll, they'll really give you a really good idea. Um... So my my quest to become the ultimate boomer has been increasing. So, uh, oh no, somebody sent me something on. Sorry, somebody sent me something on Discord. Um, so if I switch this over, I got this 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 pedal here, the Ego Mini Ego Compressor by Wampler, uh, and then I just got this iso brick as well and i just chucked all the pedals in it so i'm having a lot of fun <laughs> two horizons yeah um so i got sent the precision drive and i um I was using the Apex, actually. The Apex works really well. Like, the whole cab sim thing um, works really well with the Fender app. Um, but um, I didn't have the precision drive plugged in, and now I plugged both in, and they sound pretty good. Again, again, don't know how audible this will be, but... Uh, one sec. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, the Korg Miku. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, the Korg Miku. Um, the Korg Miku is quite possibly the worst guitar pedal I've ever used in my life. It is awful. It's really, really bad. Like, it barely gets the note that you're playing. Uh, half the time, it doesn't get the note and it just, like, freaks out. And any time it actually does get the note, it's just, um, it just, like, it's just, it, well, there's, like, tracking issues as well. So there's, like, a half a second before it actually tracks the note. Hello, Mario. Welcome to the stream. I'm just talking about my boomer guitar, like, pedal board. I mean, I can, I can let you hear it. I'll try my best to let you hear it. It's, it's not good. If I play a chord... Yeah, as soon as you try to play anything fast, it's just like, nope, not doing anything. I did play the lick, yeah. But it's just like, it's it's just so, like, slow to actually track anything, so. So yeah, that's the Korg Miku. But it's there because, you know, meme value. So I'm wondering, like, what, what do I get? What pedal do I actually get to complete this? Because um, I don't really use that many effects. Like, if you guys, you know, have heard my music before, which I'm assuming you have. You know that I don't really use a huge amount in the way of effects, and most of the time it's just like, just reverb and delay on leads, and um, just like, I don't know, just like uh, the occasional bit of chorus. Maybe should I just get some like, should I just get a wah wah and go full full full, uh, full boomer? Drop tune pedal is really useful. Don't like pedals, but I love this one. Hello, senpai six I god. We're just thinking about pedals. So normally I get my, um... So, I'm just trying to think, um... Just, just in case I'm logged in to, to Guitar Guitar and Giveaway. Okay, so... Out of all these pedals, like what, do I... I remember multi-effects pedals. Oh, you can get a quad, quad core. Is that multi-modulation pedal? 39 pounds? Okay. Uh, synthesizer effects. Oh, God. So, I'm just wondering what I get. Like, do I just get, like, a... Like, a phaser or something? Like... Or do I go full boomer and get a wah pedal? Like... The original Dunlop Crybaby. Morley Parwa. Wait. Dunlop Tom Morello. The city pop is going okay. Like, uh, we're, I'll get to it soon. I'm just doing the pedal shopping thing. This is literally just a. Am, am I bad for saying this is really cringy? You don't need a weapon when you were born one. Sometimes history needs a push. I don't know. It's just. It just. Yeah. We. I think Wawa's are stupid, but at the same time, like, oh, it's Kirk Hammett Wawa. Oh, he's got, like, bones on it, because bones are metal. Yeah. This is why I want to write pop music. I'm just like, no, I, I'm... I, 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 I lack the edge needed to be a metal musician. Um, But I don't know. I was looking at, like, chorus, phasers, expression pedals. I guess they don't need to... I just got one of these. Why is the smaller one more expensive as well? Phase 95. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know that much about pedals, so 
I'm just thinking like there's something that maybe will complete the the pedal board, but as it stands, it's um, it's these five, and um, it's pretty much just compression, distortion, a tuner, and whatever the fuck the Korg Miku is. Big bad wah, bone or bones, yeah, the bone of my bones. We're gonna we're gonna wah wah. Anyway, uh, let's uh, Miku's the most important. I mean, the Miku's the dumbest one, and like. As bad as the pedal is, I will always keep that pedal around just for the obvious, like, meme value. I think it's great. For for that, at least. Anyway, let's let's look at City Pop and uh, let's show you guys what we've got so far. So uh, I'm thinking of changing the string part a bit, but, uh, you know, we're, we're going to just show you what I have so far. It's already so cheesy. Ah, uh, just I love the eighties aesthetic. Hello, welcome, Kawaii Chamo Yada. Okay, so that's what I have so far. And um, the, the musical ideas that we have here are just... Uh, here we are using a 2-5. And then here we go to the dominant 7 on the 5 chord. And then we do a Picardi 3rd. So yeah, that's what I have so far. Your headphones are dying, so they add a lot of crackling, so every song is a lo-fi twist. Oh, man, like, how, how do lo-fi your music? I feel like, like you could sell that as like, some kind of like hipster rap. You're just like, yeah, lo-fi your music, and it just adds like a fucking static crackle. Um, but yeah, like the thing I'm like, I need to adjust stuff, but like, you know, like, uh, for instance, like we listen to the drums on their own. It just sounds like a really dumb, uh, a really dumb like uh, drum machine. And this piano, I try to make it sound like, you know, just like a Casio. Just basically scoop the mids out of everything. So there's a 2 5 1 major and a minor key. No, it's, it's, we're, we're doing a 2 5 to the 6 chord in minor. But we're treating the 6 chord as if it's a 1. And then the roads. Uh, so, I was trying to change the string melody. I think that this first part... Uh, and so... I'll <laughs> that that uh that timing was off. So I'm thinking like we go up on the second repeat. And then And let's see if we can get that to that node there. Oh, that doesn't work. Does this work? Yeah, that works a lot better, actually. Are you adding brass? Brass is everything? Yeah, we should add some brass. We should do like big like brass hits. I feel like that's the the way to go. Yeah, 
Yeah, brass stabs. I think we definitely need brass stabs. Have I made it worse? I think I made it worse. I think just keep it simple. Yeah, I feel like I've I fall on that phrasing way too often, so I'm gonna try and avoid it and just and just uh and just do something different, you know? Just do, let's just do something different. Um so let's add another let's add high brass. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I'm I Growing as a musician is knowing when you're falling back on the things you always fall back on. You're like, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this anymore. Uh. So this is my brass, and I want the same output, but I want MIDI channel two. So brass, brass. Uh. So. Let's What key are we in again? Fuck, I forgot what key we're in again. Oh, I have shot minor. So let's make this more audible. Sorry, I, I need to like talk while I'm doing this and explain my thought process here. Um, the uh, I'm trying to like accentuate like certain rhythmic aspects using just like simple notes. So, like the, it doesn't really even matter what notes the brass is playing here. I just want it to accentuate stuff. <laughs> So it's like super cheesy. Uh, the solo from Constance Rails is performed by Stephen uh, Stephen Taranto. Uh, yeah, the, the last solo is Stephen Taranto. That guy's a fucking machine, L like absolutely monster guitar player. Nice guy as well, but like yeah, his solo is fucking sick. So we have short octave, short. quite loud that's tuning not pan <laughs> god oh god <laughs> Um, if you weren't using octaves on brass, whether well, intervals would work. I mean, maybe fits, but the thing, the, th the reason why I'm using octaves is because we don't want to like muddy. Oh, we didn't want to do that. Let's just close you. I don't, I don't want to like muddy up the, um, the harmonic space. Like the, 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 the harmony is being carried by the keys. So we don't want to add anything to muddy that up. So for instance, like if this, these were playing chords, it would just sound like really over the top. Uh, also, wasabi pion. Wasabi pion. I don't know how to say pion, <laughs> like the Japanese pronunciation. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome. We're making the city pop.
Okay, I'm gonna put the cheesy melody in the horns here. So I wanted to... So I probably have to be like... Yeah, there we go. A room with a moose. Thanks for the follow. I feel like this is, this is pretty fucking cheesy already. like that. Yeah, maybe just like, just keep it simple. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep it octaved. Just... I think as well, maybe just do this on the second repeat. So the first repeat, we don't have that. Okay, and then... Okay. Hey, Sugar Shane James. James? Sugar, Sh Sugar Shane Jams. Fuck. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. We're, we're just adding brass stabs to the, to the, to the city park. So I feel like dropping everything out would be good for like a verse. I feel like the hi hat should be so hard ta uh, panned. Now that sounds a lot more like like an 80s drum machine. Ah, oh, here we go. EQ snares. to do anything except for just copy this over. So
So I'm trying to think. Uh, what the what like what layering do you want to introduce and in, reintroduce? <laughs> So we want to probably just have the keys at, at the start. Why is this a sustain pedal like copy pasted? I'm so confused. Change your sound not really. Oh, eight like a synth pad might be a good idea actually. Um, I feel like I I need one last stab just to nail home the strings because for some reason it's not okay so I just realized that doesn't work on oh, that second because uh, we're doing a Picardi third so So we need a major third here. So I just need to fix that melody. Maybe just do like a pentatonic run here and then uh We want like a synth pad here as well, like an AE synth pad. Go proper old school sounding. What is going on? Uh, oh, the when fucking, I thought that the, uh, the window was just not showing up, but it's just showing up on the side there. I'm just gonna copy paste the drums here so the drums go all the way to the end of this bit.
And then I, I, I kind of want to copy like one on each side. So one pan the other way. And this is not in time at all, but. Quite bare sounding at the moment, but I think that's kind of what we want. Uh, so let me just increase the volume a bit. Would I, would, I, would I mind posting the MIDI of the project on the Discord server? Yeah, I can I can post it in the channel for uh for, for subs and stuff. I can absolutely do that. It's a pretty uh I think it's a pretty standard like Japanese J poppy style progression. Oh, it sounds so cheesy. One thing I might change here is instead of having like 60 votes. Make it eighth notes. Yeah, it sounds a bit less busy. One thing that would make the guitars here sound even cheesier is if they had some chorus on them. So let's do that. Let's add some chorus. Uh, modulation. What's it called? Is it ensemble? If I call, uh, if I add the chorus, I think that's gonna like absolutely. Yeah, I think that uh, that will really add to that guitar sound there. If I add the chorus. Okay, let's hear how this all sounds in context. You can't really hear it that well, but... Do I have a wah effect? 16th of notes... Oh, like the 16th those like scratch notes. Yeah, I don't have a Wawa, but um, I may, I don't know. I think there's, there's already this going on. Like the radio filter thing, so. So we'll try not to overdo it. Let's actually copy this and put this in the Uh, what the velocity with these? Retro 
pad sign. Oh, I just realized there's no kick sound. <laughs> I was like, wait, where's the kick? That's literally not there. Control plus control plus C, control plus V, woe is me. That chorus sounds really nice there. And then we need a sort of uh, a pre-verse there. Uh, retro pad. So we look up. Is do they have like a retro setting? Retro land. Here we go. Uh, retro textures. I want like 80s, not retro though. I don't know if uh, they have like 80s. Uh, let's Stuck in the 80s. I need some of that. Morning the 80s. Hello, classic. Great for chords. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Let's see if I could cheat here. So I put all these notes in, and then if I quantize the eighth notes. One thing to check is the uh, mod modulation. Let's see what the. Yeah, the modulation like makes it makes it a bit nicer. I'm, I'm gonna make this really quiet, like in the background. Because we don't want it to like take too much space up. So the idea there would be would be like there'd be a singer over this part, but you know, we don't really have one of those. And then I'm thinking Maria Takeuchi vibes. I mean, like, yeah, we're we're just trying to make uh, city pop. Like, this is definitely like heavily influenced by Plastic Love, but I'm trying to make it not too Plastic Lovey. <laughs> you don't own a singer, yeah. It's been it's been illegal to own singers for a while now, or just people in general. The guitar is your singer. Uh, yeah. guitars do work for melody stuff, but like the way that guitars work in terms of how they how they play melodies is very different to how, like how a singer would approach it, which is why like and obviously they don't do words. But um, I, I mean, there's still there's still the option of getting Vocaloid, you know. It's still it's still an option. Like I could just, <laughs> how dumb would it be if I just got this during a stream and be like, yeah, let's 
Let's see. Except like these these look like, you know, not not things I wanna not things I want to get for the singer. Also, can you like hear how these sound? Uh, do they have a demo? Like can I can I hear how these things sound? Uh Brave. And when I hit the enter key, you can see the lyrics automatically distribute. Why is the captions in Japanese? Brace. With the lead singer to create a duplicate of the track. Okay, that's like. Can you just. I just want to hear how the Japanese person sounds like. That's all I want to know. Oh well, um, I guess we're not we're guess we're not finding that out. Do you have sample drums for the songs that I released? Uh, is it not shreddy leads in city pop? Oh, like there's a fucking ripping guitar solo in Plastic Love. I want to I want to do a, a guitar solo uh, after the second chorus. Like that. Actually, I don't like that. Yeah, that sounds pretty. He's asking for a little sax too much. Okay, so I feel like uh, there was another. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard the other city pop thing I did. This was the one I did before I started like doing these streams, and this one was like equally as cheesy. Um, uh, make sure this is. This one is easily as cheesy, and this one has saxophone in it, so maybe I just do this one as well. I'll wait for the saxophone line. synth is this oh it's fucking circle but yeah listen to the saxophone line the samples of the vocaloids are uh scrolling down okay yeah it, it sounds like you know sounds like something where i just don't scroll okay Kari female Japanese. Oh god, that was loud. I guess that makes sense that it sounds like kind of Hatsune Miku. <laughs> I guess the thing is like I was expecting like Hatsune Miku but I guess like that's not even like that's not what you need because like um because you're trying to sound like something from the 80s and a bit more traditional like yeah you don't want <laughs> you don't want the weeb shit <laughs> Oh man. Um I'm just trying to figure out um it sounds terrible without any music. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. I think you need the uh the tunes to to make it work. I'm like I'm like, you know, is it do I do I do it? 
220 bucks. Oh, this is before tax. Oh god. What what's what's tax? How much is it gonna tax me? Can I copy paste this please? Hundred and sixty four pounds fifty two. So it's probably gonna be closer to two hundred pounds with uh with a tax included. But you know. Is is that enough for a meme? There are free vocaloids, yeah. I, I tried one, but like it um didn't really do it. I had a specific thing I wanted to do in Senpai Three, and I can't—I can't remember what it was. I wanted to like have like a, like a singing like background sound, but it just like um ended up not using it. Uh, what I actually want to do here? So, like, this is the verse, and then. Actually, I have an idea. So, for the next part, it's going to be like the pre chorus. And for the pre chorus, we're going to move this up to the, to the right sample. So that's probably cheesy enough. So I need uh I need to figure out uh what chords go here. What drums am I using? I'm using GGD Invasion. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> I've made it sound like an 80s kit. Um basically I've enveloped all the all the kicks and the snares and the toms to like cut the notes off to cut the sort of hits off. Um, and then I've just added like I've cut all the mids and I've just added like reverb so on everything so you just get like just get the drum machine sound. This is no I would never like process invasion like this for my own stuff, but like this is to make it sound um like an eighties drum machine. You won't be able to. You won't be able to hear the guitar. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna like try and figure this out. The Miku was still on. I feel like I wanted like a key change, so. Actually, I should plug in my axe offense. That makes a lot more sense. Instead of being like, oh yeah, it's fine. You guys can't hear it. I should just plug my guitar into my axe effects and let you hear it that way. Because I'm going to be recording with this anyway, so. This makes a lot more sense. Clean. Then. You won't be able to hear that. Oh, my guitar's out of tune. So the rule is, every time I tune my guitar, I need to tell a dad joke. So, sorry guys. Uh, that is not what I wanted. I'm just going to the subreddit one second. I hope the subreddit hasn't locked itself. 
It's still here. Imagine if Americans switch from pounds to kilograms overnight. There would be mass confusion. Just waiting to see the groans in chat. That's confusion. I tend to free pour everything when I add spices and stuff to to dishes when I cook. But uh, I was advised to take a more measured approach. I feel like just something simple like that. Or... I feel like I should like, use like two fives or something just to like make make the changes a bit more interesting. But. This is what happens when I can't think of something, I just end up playing random shit. I'm just like, mm, just trying to like avoid the problem as much as possible. I like this opening, so... that chord progression um so so yeah we, we start you can't see our guitar oh yeah uh, there you go you should be able to see it now uh it's gonna record
Yeah, that would go for too long. Uh... So I feel those 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 four chords work. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm only doing this as a reference, but I just like I still want to get it relatively right. I just want to go back to the B there. I feel like there's a chord I can go. Go for that. So it'd be like a Yeah, maybe something like that. So. As you can see, it's like, I try not to default to one of the regular chord progressions I use, so I'm trying to do something a bit different here and like using a bit some more interesting voicings. Yeah, okay, I can go for that. I was overcomplicating it. I don't need to uh don't need to do anything crazier than uh, just play that chord. So. I'm just 
just trying to get the fucking bass chords down, but I keep like I, I I when I even though I'm trying to just do a guide track, I'm still just in the mode of like, oh, it needs to be perfect, and I'm just deleting so many takes. But you know, you play the Schecter's version of a Strat; it's pretty nice too. But yeah, I mean, you can't beat a Mayo. It's just this is ah, oh, I love this, I love this guitar so much. Mayo is just like there's something about them, the build quality, everything about them is just so good. So there's my guide track. What's going on here? I'm trying to make a pre-chorus for the uh, for the city pop song. So I'm uh, I'm just uh, tracking some guide chords, just just so I remember the progression. Because normally I'd go in with like a progression pre, like pretty thought up but like for here i'm actually just gonna just gonna copy what's there so chords that i choose for this part so i chose um let's get let's get my notepad out so for this part we have a b minor nine so this is this chord i'm gonna write it out as, as a so we've got a b minor nine then we have a b minor nine flat five B minor nine, flat five. And then we have A major seven. Then we have a Then we have a F sharp minor nine. Getting all the MIDI notes the right size. So then this is an F sharp minor nine. Then this next chord's like a like a it's kinda like a C minor seven flat five. That's we we can call it that. C minor seven flat five. C sharp minor seven flat five, sorry. It's how it's voiced on guitar. But it's uh it's kinda also like this half diminished chord. 
Uh. Oops. Is the whole thing diatonic? It's pretty diatonic. Then it's another B minor nine. Actually, no, the B9 and 9 doesn't work. I need that note. So I'm just, I want this chord to be different, but I don't know. Man, that's like a C9. Here that I, I want to use, but oh, my strap is caught on the stand, so it's like. It's just that chord, fuck. I'm just So it's a C nine into an E. So we just track this guide part. Yeah, the uh, figuring out chords thing is such a, it's like super trial and error sometimes. So sometimes I like get the chords straight away and sometimes I'm like, wh like for instance, like I, I just heard this. I just heard that. And I had to figure out what chords had those notes. So the first chord, like, and the second chord, I had no idea, but I just needed a chord with that note. And I was just like, you know, I'll just, just go down chromatically. So you get this sort of.
I, lo I love neck metal tones. Um, anyway, yeah, so... And then we go to the E. It's pretty low, though. Yeah, it's like a, it's a very sort of a, I, 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 I don't use chords like this often because I feel like these chords are like, they don't really suit metal music so much, but they have like a really, they're like really good for, uh, for pop music. I feel, especially like we're going for like an eighties pop music vibe. Like that happens a lot. A lot of like a uh, city pop stuff has like a really strong, like R and B influence. So like these kind of chords like are right at home. Stay hydrated. So... I think the chorus will start again there. Actually, uh, the second chord, before I copy paste this over. Has that B in it? Yeah, okay, that's exactly what I want. Ah. Uh, I love it when a chord progression comes together. It's just so satisfying. You don't know that feeling? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's like, um, it's just a case of practice really really is and even then like you can tell like i i'm trial and erroring a lot of this stuff because like you know it's not completely apparent to me on first um like on the first time i play it So I don't need those guys anymore. But then I just need to copy all of this. There we go. So that's like a verse. Oh, 
So let me copy and paste all this stuff over. Copy and paste thing. Copy and paste to Electric Boogaloo. This is such like a big part of my workflow, but it's like, I'm assuming it's just like the least interesting thing to watch. I feel like if you if you like work in with a DAW and you do this kind of stuff like it's probably painfully relatable. Hash pipe with a tier 1 sub. Thanks very much for the sub, dude. It's very 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 much appreciated. Oh, it's so nice to say that. It's like, thanks for this up, man. Thanks, Hashbrite. You're the best as well for subbing. Thank you. Uh, in your honor, I'm going to copy and paste this brass part. <laughs> So what do I need here? I need guitar parts and the pre-chorus. Uh, let's uh, make sure that I'm not, everything's not out of time. Oh, that as in like the thing that desynced. Where's Annie? She's always here. I think she's raiding in Final Fantasy 14 or something like that. Otherwise you'd just be hit with all her dad jokes. Sounds so out of time. Because it is. I 
I don't know how that ended up all the way back there, but. Gotta grab some dinner. See you in the next stream. Thanks for the help. No, uh, no worries, man. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. It's really great having people watch to watch me copy and paste. Two, tube 4D. Is it tube 4D? Tube 4D? Thank you for the prime sub. Really, really appreciate it. Too bad. Oh my god, I, I'm a fucking idiot. I like it's it's like you just think it's like way more complicated, and I'm just like, oh no. Isn't it fun though? Just like trying to figure out like. Too bad, yeah. I I feel like that's half the fun though. Just trying to figure out like what the pronunciations are. What library is that brass from? Uh, the library is uh Albion One. So Albion One is like Spitfire's like, film score ish library. So like it's trying to sort of emulate like a film studio orchestra so yeah So, like, the song just, like, it's one of these things where the song just really needs a vocalist. Oh, I need to record bass. No. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go for a quick loo break, and then when I come back, we're going to track bass. So, BRB.
Okay, uh, we are back, and I have a bass guitar now. Trusty man is Jabba. So we're going to attempt to record the bass part here. And uh, if you were here for the last stream, you would see that the bass part was just me uh, just comping all of the stuff because I suck at bass. Oh, no, I'm tuning a guitar, so dad joke time. Uh, let's find one. I remember asking my dad repeatedly what the acronym LGBTQ meant. I never got a straight answer. That's pretty bad. That was, that was a pretty bad dad joke. Okay, um, let's make sure that we haven't desynced. <laughs> uh, my Axe FX tones are on, let's see, Axe Exchange. So if you go to Axe Exchange and type in my name like this, Uh, these are my tones. I don't know how up to date these are. April 2013, these are pretty old, uh, but they're still relatively similar to what I use now. So if you have an XFX2, then you can get these and they're pretty close to what I use now. I'm very uncreative. I haven't changed my tones at all. So yeah, you can go get them from there. So let's, well, I'm probably just gonna stop this part. I don't want to play like I just want to keep the octaves going. I think it's just plain octaves. Actually playing them. I should just stick to what I'm what I said I was gonna play. better than that. Okay. 
I can you work with that and just edit it. So let's bring this down to the bass track. So this is this is the the industry standard cheating that I do. Uh, if I can do multiple things in one, that's pretty that's pretty neat. This isn't necessary if you're a good bass player, but unfortunately we don't have one of those lying around. If only we had a good play bass player lying around. I, if it was like a, like if I was playing with like a pick or something, then like the part would, there's definitely like a lot more manageable but because i'm playing with because i'm trying to slap this which is something beyond my capabilities it's uh and i'm never gonna get it right first time i like i'd have to spend so long to try and get a good take that's not too bad That's pretty in time. That wasn't in time there. For the most part, this is actually kind of in time. I'm shocked. I think you guys are probably as shocked as I am that <laughs> any of that turned out in time. Okay, so we have a pre-course. So we have the verse, chorus. And then we are going to go out into the... We we'll have an outro solo. If I copy paste this over.
gonna put the synth part there and okay so before i do any guitar tracking i'm gonna put this bass away Before I do any tracking, I just want to talk about how fucking incredible <laughs> the guitar solo in uh, Plastic Love is, which is part of what makes it like the perfect pop song. But let me go to a lead patch, a clean lead patch. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, Plastic Love. I might, I might get this, uh, I might get the stream muted, but. Just how groovy is that? So simple, but so groovy. And like, I want something like that. Like a, what's like a good outro? Maybe cut this out. So we're gonna do the guitar solo here, and I'll just keep it simple. some interesting like little uh, uh harmonic things i need to keep track of so like uh for instance uh so there's like at the two five here and then that c, c and seven chord i have to play i have to play that scale over that chord and then then we have the Picardi third, so I have to play. So I'm 
thinking like um, I'll probably play like a uh, probably like a um, F Mixolydian, F sharp Mixolydian over that part. So yeah, so I'm gonna attempt some solo writing. Uh, depending on how well it goes, I might be able to do it this session. Otherwise, I'll save it for the next time. But like, you know, let's just try write stuff. <laughs> Okay, I need to like transition into that little bit there though. You're a sucker for big bands. Big bands are the best. Yeah, let's just do big bands. Like, keep it simple. I'm like, I'm just doing dumb shit now. Let's keep it simple. I'm just, I just need to get that first bit, and then once I get the first bit, I can start comping. One for up.
that first part was good. Keep the first part. Don't scrap it. I I, I also scrap so often. I'm just like, no, get rid, get rid, get rid when it's like totally usable. Harmony work. I'm going to cheat a bit here.
that's something going on. Giraffe Care says, hello, hello, welcome. Regards to the Dominican Republic. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Nice to have you here, Lucho20. <laughs> I bet over the fucking fretboard. Fuck, does that just work? <laughs> I, I really like that. I'm going to keep this here and see if I can... <laughs> I fucking... I, I think I made a guitar face there. <laughs> Hey CT, awesome. See, it's awesome to see you stream regularly. Remember, you're posting something about one, not wanting to stream anymore. Um, honestly, it's just I'm just not doing a lot recently. Like you know, Senpai Three is done. And, like I've just you know locked down. I was like, and also like I had a good idea for streaming. Like before, I just wanted to do what every other streamer was doing and just play games and do stuff like that. But like now, I'm kind of like I actually have an idea about like what to stream. So the whole idea here is like we're just trying to make Twitch safe background music. So we're trying to meta game Twitch. Uh, but yeah, so, um, here I am making a city pop song, uh, and try to track the solo. Ooh, okay, 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 so. So. Here we're gonna comp and use. This is more traditional comping where I'm just like taking t uh, parts of takes that I like. What's what's going on here?
when did I start playing guitar? What got me into it? Um, I started playing guitar when I was like 12 and like what got me into it was just basically just a high school music class. Uh, just so you know, high school in Scotland is from the ages of 12 to 18. Like we do six years of high school and like six years of primary school. We don't like separate middle school or anything like that. And yeah, I just picked up a guitar in a music class and just was hooked. I just never stopped playing it since then. Um, And if, it's one of those things as well, when you're that age, you kind of just pick up a hobby. And guitar was just the hobby. So, yeah, I've just been doing it ever since. I think I'm going to do something different here. Okay, so let's just... I think uh, it's nice and simple. there. Yeah, okay, something nice and simple just to round out the phrase. a lot faster than I thought it would be. I'm glad you think it's tasty. Uh, let's, let's hear this.
How do we make this sound more 80s? Like, how do I... Ah. Uh, is, is there like a tape delay? There we go, tape echo. Am I using the Miku pedal? Oh my god, no. That Miku pedal is like... I think I said it before. It's like one of the worst pedals I've ever used. But um, I have it for meme value alone. It is just pure meme value. Honestly, like, Korg are selling it because, like, people will buy it. Like, people just, you know, people love Hatsune Miku, and people will buy it. And then you got people like me who just do it for the meme. So, uh, yeah. They got my money, either way. got uh expecting to use it but it's been a 250 fifty dollar desk decoration is it going for 450 dollars i got mine for about 175 pounds do you think i should like add some fucking phaser or something to, <laughs> to this gu guitar solo just just something to 80s it up. bit much but if I just sort of if I just turn it does fit yeah
So I'm just like trying to end the song here. kill that ring but that's fine then copying over all the piano stuff and I want like the ending to be quite sudden here. I need to kill that Omnisphere thing. Uh, copy with the sustain pedals. add a automation channel on the retro pad bass is sounding plump yeah it's uh it's pretty cool oh i missed uh saying goodbye to giraffe kisses sorry about that uh i hope you're doing well anyway wherever you're going just running the bass into the axe effects yes i am uh, okay so apart from like doing extra drum mixing and other mix like adding drum fills and stuff let's just hear what we have let's hear this city pop song sand singer Actually, let's turn on all the mastering tracks Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, I forgot something at the end here.
I just I forgot to add the strings and the graphics to the ending here. Bass is really over the top there, but I'll fix it later. Let's just hear how the sounds. What am I gonna do though? Okay. Let's hear what we have. I'm gonna go mix this fully afterwards with my uh, video monitors. Chris from abroad in Japan? No, I don't. Picture this song. I actually need to like reference some 80s mixes to make sure like all the mix elements have that 80s sound. My room's not treated at all. No, it's not. I just have anime posters that absorbs the sound. Okay, 
Okay. We have... We have a City Pop song. Goes to show you don't really need it. I mean, like, I've never really found a situation where, like... Um... Ooh, let me, uh... Let me save this first. Okay, that's saved. Let's go to background music. Yeah, I've never really found myself in a situation where, um... Like... <laughs> my mix could have been improved by the, by having um uh room treatment. So I don't know. It's like some people swear by it. I've just I've not seen the difference. I've definitely seen the effects that rooms can have. In my old um in my old house where I used to live, the room had this massive bass dip right where I would sit. So if I would sit there I did, literally couldn't hear the bass. Like low end of the mix is just gone. So there's like room acoustics are not like this fad. Like they they're real and you should appreciate where you sit in your room and what that does to the sound. And in terms of treatment though, I've just never seen like a situation where I needed to do that, if that makes sense. So haven't treated that. Dude, the stream is fire. Glad you enjoyed it, man. Like um I uh we have a lot of fun just making these songs and like it's it's really cool because it's so like it's so raw and you kinda just see me kind of fuck about and see what I come up with and figure out so glad you enjoyed it um I feel like we got a good bunch of regulars as well and uh tell your friends if, if your friends are interested in my music or want to see how you know somebody goes about their music production stuff uh let them know um you know also all that good stuff follow and there's the option to sub and donate and all that good shit so there's that but it's nice just to uh to just to have you here like just just you guys coming and hang out and being here with me making this music stuff is uh is uh is is enough really you learn a lot every stream i'm glad to hear that man like um it's it's really cool to because like people keep asking me to make videos about my production process and i feel like it's if they if you have the time and the patience for it like i feel like these streams are a lot more educational so yeah you wish you're here earlier you'll get right on time for the next stream yeah on friday i don't know what i'm doing i might i might play some tunes like it was fun playing some tunes on friday so uh, we'll, we'll do that on friday uh but yeah like uh, i'm gonna i'm like tomorrow i'm gonna go away and i'm gonna fully mix this track because um like i need to i like unfortunately i just need my studio monitors to hear stuff um so uh, as much as I would like to f finish the mix on stream, like, I just won't hear what I will need to hear through my headphones. I do reference with headphones, but, like, when I mix, I do want to use my studio monitors. Uh, but, yeah, on Friday, I'll figure out something to do. Like, um, probably just chat and, you know, and uh, talk about stuff that's happened and all that good shit. And uh, listen to the finished um, finished City Pop track. Oh, also, on Friday, we can vote for what we want to um, mix next. So, yeah, we have, uh, we have options. We do have options. Um, the other thing as well is that if you're in my Discord server, uh, you may have noticed that we changed the icon to the, to Deconomus's, uh, prog chan emote. So, uh, prog, prog champ, yeah. That's not the new, that's not the server icon, which confused some people, but that's our server icon. Um... So, yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord server, though, there's exclamation mark Discord. Everybody's very nice there. It's a lovely place of cool people. Um, there's a specific channel as well for uh, for all the Twitch subs. And um, like I said before, like, uh, I want the... Um, I want it so that um, you're not just, like, subbing and, like, just, you know, being supportive, which is, you know, very much appreciated. But I want to give something back so all, all Twitch subs get access to... Um, I'll, some, um, all the, all the songs that I make on stream. So, so far I've done four. I've done four of those songs. So, um, yeah, you'll get, you'll hopefully be able to listen to and download the City Pop one tomorrow. Um, so we'll, uh, hopefully I'll get that done. And, uh, yeah, like other than that, it's just, you know, cool place to hang out. Uh, people generally, you know. Like playing video games, hanging out. Uh, lots of people have been playing Rocket League recently. I got roped into playing Rocket League. Um, that was interesting. I'm just I'm so bad at that game, so it was <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. It's just it's just a fun place to be. I think like it's very 
It's very eclectic. Like, people post, like, some dumb memes, and there's lots of in-jokes, but... It's because, like, every... It's, like, kind of, like, a friend group server, so, yeah. Um... What else is there? Ah, uh, I mean... Yeah. Come hang out Discord server. I'm usually... I'm usually there. You'll usually catch me just t chatting to people in general, so, yeah. Um... What else is there? Uh... I think what else? I've just been, like... I re downloaded Fallout 4, and I've been playing, like, modded Fallout 4, so that's been taking up a lot of my time, so... I went Skyrim, then I went Fallout 4, and that's just been taking up my time. That and, like, you know, the, the Boomer app set up, so... Uh, I don't know if I... Can I show you? There you go. You can see it over there. Nice. Real amps. Valves. Warmness. Real noise. All that, all that good shit. So, yeah, the Boomer app's been fun. I'm just, like, you know, trying to add to the pedal collection and seeing what... I, I can, I'm totally happy with the pedals I have now. That compressor, like I said, that like little warbler, warbler, um, what's it called? Ego Mini. Really good. Really, really good pedal. Like, it really, really enhances the sound. So, there's that. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, at this point, I'm rambling. Um, we did it. We made City Pop. So, on Friday, we'll figure out where we want to go next. Thank you all of you guys for hanging out today. Um, it was really fun to like finish that song and like that chord progression in the middle. Yeah, I was really happy I came up with that. So yeah, I will. Uh, lots of lol. Did I say that? I meant if I did say something, I was gonna be like uh, say lots of love. Anyway, lots of love, guys. Lots of lols. Lots of lols and lots of love. Thanks for hanging out. We made city pop today. Maria Takeuchi would be happy. I will see you guys on Friday. Have a good one.